and it's only 11 o'clock. <laughs> I had an orthodontist appointment this morning for Owen and Carmen had chair at the same time, so I was running them back and forth and all over the place. But Carmen has been wondering for the past couple of days how her Monarch Way station is doing at the park here that's close to our house. So we thought today would be a great day to go check that out. So we're gonna go grab some lunch, me and the girls, and then we're gonna go check on her way station and see how the flowers are growing, see if there's any monarchs enjoying it, and all of those things. Right, Carm? Yes. Okay, here we go. The girls have chosen to swing into Costa Vida to grab lunch. We're gonna take that to go and head up to the park and eat it. Claire, what are you gonna order? A salad. A salad? Carmi, what are you gonna order? I'm probably going to get a pork enchilada. Oh, you're mixing it up this time, huh? Yes. Yeah, normally they both get salads, so. Switching things up a little bit around here. Not me. I can't Except for boring old Claire. Same old, same old. <laughs> just kidding. We're just getting here to the park where Carmen planted a bunch of flowers with her class right before school got out. They made a monarch way station here at one of the parks close to our house. And we have not been back to see it since we planted it. So we haven't seen it yet. We're just getting here. Carmen, what is your guess? What do you think? You think, I think it's that gonna be? Some of them died and some of them didn't die. You think it's still gonna be all alive or? Not all alive. Some of them might have died, but most of it alive. All right, so it's right over there in that far corner. We're gonna walk down here and see if your flower survived or what is going on with this. Maybe there's some monarchs that have laid their eggs in there. Hopefully we can see some monarchs. That would be super cool, huh? Yeah. But I honestly never mind about the chrysalises because the, they don't make their cocoons and chrysalises until they are older and so they're ready to fight in Mexico. And so oh. they have to do it. Do they do that in the spring or in the? They do it kind of summer going into fall. Oh, I see, okay. Let's go check it out and see what we can find over here. Yeah, see, my plant has sunflowers alive and some of them are dead. So this is the flower that Carmen planted right here. It's grown a lot. All the flowers have gotten big. I should have my name tag somewhere. Is your name tag still on or did somebody come and take it? Is that it? Be it? I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. Maybe the flower grew around it. Yeah, is Dig it? in there and see if you can find it. So all of these flowers that are planted in here is everything that monarch butterflies love. To lay their eggs in or to just come and get the nectar from. Right, so, Carm? right here, this, this is milkweed. That's milkweed and that's what they love to eat. This is what caterpillars use their whole lives until they become butterflies. The milkweed? I can't believe how much it's grown. These little milkweeds, when we planted those, they were tiny. Yeah. So tiny. That's awesome. Still didn't find your name tag? No, we're gonna look. I wonder if maybe the wind blew it away since the wind blows all the time up here. It's even blowing right now. Yeah, it is. All right, it's looking awesome. I'm glad it's growing. Yeah, let's go I'll have to check on it again, maybe later in the fall when the butterflies are actually out. Yeah. Let's go eat. Okay. It is a perfect day to be having a picnic here at the park. Sun is shining. It's hot, but super nice day out here. What did you order, Claire? Salad. Salad. Carmen definitely did switch it up this time from what she normally gets. Two enchiladas. And I also got a salad. It's been super fun to come up here to the park, hang out for a little bit, have lunch, and check out the Monarch way stations that are up here. But now we have to run home and start getting packed because we are headed out on our next summer vacation. We are headed south with my sister and her family. We are looking forward to a lot of fun days coming up with them. So it's time, unfortunately, girls, we have to go pack our bags. Okay, I'm fine with that. I'm gonna go watch my show anyways. You're gonna watch the show and pack your bag at the same time? Army? You excited to go on another vacation? Yes. Me too. I'm excited to be able to go with our cousins. cousins. Yeah, because it's a cousin's vacation. Yeah. Cousins always make everything more fun, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go get back. Carmen is killing it on her packing. I usually have my kids gather up all of their own clothes and then they bring it to my room. 
I go through everything they want to take just to make sure they have everything they need and then we get it packed together but I want my kids to help out as much as possible when we go on trips like this so I think it's very important for them to be able to do some of this kind of stuff on their own so she has brought in all of her clothes that she wants to take here are her outfits we probably need a couple more of those but we've got a swimming suit pile and pajama pile and then her swim cover-ups so it's looking really, really good, Carm. Just need to add a few more outfits. Probably a few more outfits, and then should be good to go. Hello. Bear, how's it going? Is this mine? I have three pairs of PJs. Whoop whoop. Oh, three pairs of PJs. Whoop whoop. I think you're gonna need more than more than PJs. And a dress. And a dress. All right. Well, we're making progress. <laughs> I am gonna take a small break from packing really fast. Clay just got home from work and we need to run to O'Reilly and see if we can find a hitch that will fit in my car. We're gonna tow the boat this time with my car so it's a little more comfortable for everybody. And this will be our first time using my car to tow the boat. So we had to find a hitch that actually fits it. So I'm gonna run with him and do that really quick. And then we'll get back here and hopefully get all of our packing done tonight. We have made it to O'Reilly. So I'm actually gonna grab a two inch receiver with a two and five sixteenths ball because that's what my boat takes. Uh, the last time we are here, they didn't have any, so I'm hoping that they've got one tonight. If not, at least they'll be able to tell us where we can go get one at a different location. So let's go take a look, see what they've got. All right. So they have it this time. I don't know. I'm trying to find the one that uh, lets you tow a bunch, like it's got a heavyweight rating. But why am I not seeing it now? It used to be like on, I guess I would say like 16,000 pounds or something like that. Oh, yeah. Or 6,000 pound rating. This one says 6,000. It says on the hitch, but I can't see it on here to know which one. We lucked out and found all the hitch pieces that we need for my car. So we're going to run down and grab our boat really fast and then head home, get the hitch put together, put it on my car. Hopefully everything works out and it all fits correctly. That's true. Just got to make sure it all works make sure that we got a lock for it. And so those come in different sizes depending on the width. And so I just kind of guessed on that. So we're going to just check that and make sure you know, that lock fits and it'll stay on there. Uh, obviously, we don't want anybody running off our hitch anywhere, right? Yeah. And uh, I think I've got a lock for the tongue of the boat, you know, so why it's on our car that nobody can just pop that off and steal our boat. So, more worried about the boat than the hitch, but just want to make sure that everything's secure. All right, how is the hitch coming? Oh, it's good. Is it going to fit? I mean, well, we don't know yet. Oh. We are looking to see here. So, looks like... That one all the way through, that lock's on there. So the lock is good, the lock fits. I hand tighten this thing on, but I gotta get a couple wrenches and uh, tighten this thing down a little bit more, but the lock works. So it doesn't seem like it's coming off. I flipped it around so it's a little higher up, as long as when you back under there that it fits. So I'll grab those two wrenches. Here's a couple keys for you, don't lose those. Oh, you better keep track of those. Well, we'll put them inside your car somewhere. Okay. I just took the uh, the boat for a little test drive behind the car, making sure it was all gonna work just fine. Uh, it got up to speed all right, and then I checked the brakes. Um, the trailer's got what's called surge brakes, and uh, they work okay, but we're gonna switch those out eventually to electric brakes, which work a whole lot better. So uh, they're gonna work for this trip, though. The kids will be super excited. Carmen has been asking for us to tow the boat with this car forever. So we finally got it uh, figured out. Finally found a hitch that would work. It's Harry. Are you excited to tow a boat with your car? What else could you tow besides just the boat? I don't really have anything else to tow. A cam trailer? A cam trailer. <laughs> Possibly if we had one. You should get in the towing business now that you have a hitch. <laughs> you could tow many things. Yeah, I don't need to tow much. You could hire out, I'm telling you. <laughs> I don't think so. I will not be going into the towing business, but I am excited for this trip coming up. We've been missing our boat. It's been several weeks since we've been out on the water. Clay took it out a few weeks ago when my dad was here, but I haven't been on it for like a month now, so. And that feels like forever ago. Yeah. <laughs> We're all excited to get back on the water and enjoy some lake time. Guys, if you are not following us on Instagram, you guys are gonna wanna go there now, follow us right now. It's more up to date. Obviously our videos are a few days behind by the time we get them edited and get them kicked out. But Instagram is more current, things we're doing now. So kind of gives you a little sneak peek as to what's coming up. So. Yes, we try to keep that more updated. So be sure to go follow us there so you can kind of know what's coming out in the videos. Kind of exciting. So guys, we appreciate you watching. We love you and we'll see you guys back here tomorrow.